to other levels. In today's video, we will continue learn how you can create a dynamic sales growth and net profit margin dashboard in Excel without using pivot tables and slicers. Only by using the Excel spinner and options buttons. Visit our online store other-levels.com to get our templates or the dataset. And for training and practicing, you can now download the dataset for this dashboard for free from our website. Let's continue, select one of the options button, right click, format control, then choose the cell link. Here we will choose J4 cell name. Now as you can see, each option button has a specific number from 1, 2 and 3. So now we got two different values, one from the option buttons and the other one from the spinner. Now we will start to create non-duplicable number to extract the correct values, based on the spinner and option button values. Now link each year in a declining order. We will need three groups. One for the purchases items, and one for the total sales, and the third one will be for the final profits. So if the options button values equals to 1, so that will be for the purchases items, and 2 for the total sales, and 3 for the final profits. Next, we will combine the year with the option button value, using the concatenate formula. Great, so now this 20,191 is a non-duplicable number, and it means the purchases items for 2019, so link each cell with the related header. We need a cell showing both values in a combined way, same like what we did here. As you see, it change depends on the options button and spinner selection. So now we can create a dynamic line chart. First, we need to add the week numbers. Then we will use VLOOKUP formula to find the header name. Finally, use the index formula and match formula to get the correct value. Now the line chart data source is ready. Select all then insert line chart.
Then finally move the chart to the dashboard. Next we need to get the amounts by quarters. Some first 13 weeks to get the amounts for the first quarter. The next 13 weeks will be for the second quarter. Do the same for the third and fourth quarter. Finally sum all quarter to get the yearly amount. Duplicate these text boxes to link the amounts. Next we need to add a dynamic chart title. We added previously the required titles. If the options button value equals to 1 so show the first title, and so on. Next we will also use the VLOOKUP to get the values from the second data table. Add these values to the dashboard.
move the spinner and the options button. But from the format control re-link the cell name. That's all for today's video, hope you learned something useful for you. On the other hand, you have an easy way to directly purchase this template from our website other-levels.com. Thank you, and see you in next video.